I have just a quick little video to show you today. I'm going to give you a run through of what I've been working on for Infemera for my junk journals. Some of the projects are finished. Some of them just have the basics done. So when it comes time to picking something out from my book, I can just pick it out and half of it will be done. And then I just can use the papers that are going to go in that book and, and design the rest of these. So here we go. This is round one. I have the ruffle paper, which you've probably already seen. The belly tag, the belly bands. These little flip outs. I can't remember who I, I didn't write it down and I should have who I um, seen these from, but I have some books that I just made. I have some coasters that came in a package and they're kind of paper coasters, but they have birds on them. And then some little envelopes with tags in them. And then I have my bingo cards with some acetate tags. And then these tags, envelopes with tags in them. There's three pockets in that one. These little bitty ones, I've been following Louise Heinzel from Junk Journal R and 49 Dragonflies Barbara on their December Ember um, challenge that they've been doing. And they did these little tea bags. Well, not these ones in particular, but this type of tea bag. And then these are, I went through two old books and ripped them up and I cut out the pictures that I wanted and then put them on some book paper. So they'll go on some unfinished envelopes or whatever I decide to put them on. But there's some animals and some nature and lots of birds, a whole stack of birds I have. And there's quite a few goats and some owls and lots of different things down under that stack. There's a stack of bear stuff. And then I just have some pictures that I have inked up the edges and I'm not sure whether they'll be pages in books or ephemera or what they're going to be, but there they are. And then here's some tags that I had made that of course are not finished, but they are a base to start on and it gives me a point to, to go with. And here's some more of different shapes. And then these are some more envelopes. These are from, I've been also following Oh, just a second. Corey, Corey Dahlman from Creating with Scraps. She is pretty awesome. If, if, um, if you make these things or want to make these things, you really need to check out her channel on YouTube. Um, this is one, I'm not sure from which day it was, but it has a tag here, and then you open it up. And then there's a scrap paper pad here. This is a tag for after you put it in your book that you can put behind it. And then there's two more tags here. So I made um, a bunch of these, of course, that aren't done, but the owl picture could go on the front of that and decorate that up just like that. See how easy that would be to have that one finished? Here are some more pockets. These. Um, are very simple pockets. You have one tag in it and then the back tag would go in the back after you've glued it to your book. This is another flip up tag with one in it, one envelope with one tag in it. And then this is an envelope, I thought this was pretty cool, that has three tags in it. So that, my friends, is round one. Today I'm going to take a break from making ephemera and I'm going to coffee stain all of my papers for my next three journals. So that's going to be quite a big project. Um, and then I'll be back to making more ephemera. I think I have quite a bit here, but it's always fun. I think it's addicting. I really do. Okay. Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll see you um, soon. Have a great day.